my last epic toy haul ever. Coming up after this. Didn't I say that before? Okay, seriously, this might actually be my last toy haul. Because I have so many toys. I've run out of money. I don't know if anybody's going to see my channel anymore. But I got some really good things and I've stopped myself a lot. And I've gone shopping. Well, I was on a streak. I went shopping two times in a row for a long time and I didn't find anything that I wanted, which I love that when that happens. I also hate that when that happens. But I either have everything or there's nothing new that I want. But yesterday I did pick up some things. Maybe I'll start with that stuff if I can remember. Let's see. Uh, I went to Toys R Us and they had these two Fisher Price baby things and they were only these are rattly and cute, so kawaii, and then there's this thing. They were $3.15, I think, and I actually did want to get these. I've been looking at them. I love Fisher-Price toys. They're just adorable, and look how much fun they are, obviously. Look how happy she is. I had to buy those things. What's this? Okay, at Treasure Hunt, I found this picnic set. Apparently, it was open. But all of the pieces are in there, I hope. Uh, My Life has 70% off. Had to get that. The Lukes are going to love that set. I did a big opening of these Treasure Hunters. Uh, this is Dragons, I guess. Wait, is that what they're called? Treasure X? They're called, I guess I missed one. Or maybe I bought it later. I don't know. Oh, that I didn't get yesterday, though. I said I was starting with the things that I bought yesterday. So I bought those two rattles, and, oh, I found this at Treasure Hunt yesterday. And I always wanted this. I keep taking it and picking it and putting it back. I got this for about 2 $3. So, come on. And did I get anything else yesterday? I don't know. Oh, I got, yes, I got this. I got two cars, which I'm only seeing one. Come on, come on. Well, I'll let you know. I found this car, and I keep finding one of these. It's the latest, at least in Canada, the latest super fast series. These came out with movable parts. Apparently, they stopped making them with movable parts, but this is a pretty awesome classic car, so this is one that I definitely had to get. The last one that I found by itself wasn't really a car that I would normally get. This is a car that I got in the States, but I forgot to haul for my last a haul from New York State. But that's a really awesome Jeep. I love that. And I think it's the only Jeep that I really, really love from the collection. At least it was the only one they have. No, I do like those other two on the end there. But, yeah, maybe it was the only one that I saw that I liked, or maybe those were weird colors or something. There's another car around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. This is the other car that I found yesterday. Now, this was a return because it had a sticker on it that I took off where, you know, you come into the store and they put a sticker on the stuff that you have in your bag so they know you're returning it or something. It's an older one, and I don't have it, and it's like a beach and bike shop truck, which is cool. I love Matchbox cars, so I bought that. They're only a dollar in Canada, which is the same price as they are in the States, so... Uh, I love buying Matchbox also. I love the style of Matchbox usually more than Hot Wheels. And they're cheaper. I have a lot of Meg Construct figures in here. I've got these Call of Duty. I got that. These for, I think, $3 each at a closeout toy warehouse. It's sad that that toy warehouse is gone now. And then I got... I think I got this one at a grocery store. This is Assassin's Creed, Mega Construction Series 4. I have these, this Halo one I got at Treasure Hunt, so that was 70% off. Great price on that one. I have this Call of Duty from one of the newer series. I think we're up to series 
five, if I'm not mistaken. And then another one of these is with the skull face. I already have this one, but it's a skull face. Great army builders, and it was discounted cheap, cheap, cheap. Oh, and I bought these two ones at full price from Series 5, so that's right. And I found these quite a while ago. Like, this haul is over before Christmas, and I just haven't hauled it. So I haven't really been buying a lot of toys, but I guess I really have been. It's This is a couple months, this toy haul. Oh, one is Series 3 and one is Series 5. So I think I got one on sale. And then the other one is brand new. I had to get him. He looks like a Nazi. He looks like a very bad man. What cool old-fashioned military. And then, oh, I guess two different times at Treasure Hunt, I found these, like, they're great, just like little pieces, which are army fun and great colors. So I picked up those. I already have a few of those, I think. So that's my making instructions. I just got in my last two. I ordered these on Amazon. I first saw them at Walmart in the States, and I didn't get them because they didn't have the whole collection. And then I ordered them on Amazon, and Amazon only sent me four. And these are really special because these Paw Patrol pups are not wearing any clothes. They're in their regular pup, and they have two different outfits on. This is probably the best for your buck. Can't believe these ones, and I love that they do have their hats on, but for the most part, they're naked pups. Here's Chase. Do you have a favorite Paw Patrol character? Mine is actually Rocky. This guy, he's definitely my favorite. My second favorite is Rubble, because Rubble is chunky and hunky and adorable. Yeah, those are super duper cute. I have the whole set. So happy to have those. I'll have to open up them and their little career outfits. Full set of those. Finished off this PJ mask. I love how cute these are. Probably the cutest figures that are out there. I just needed to get um, Catboy to finish off this street racing collection. There is one more that I have to get, and that is a wet with a motorcycle. That is the one that I'm missing right now that I really, really want. And I have the other two in their motorcycle. This is really weird. I haven't bought a traditional superhero action figure in a long, long time. This, what is his name? Mysterio reminds me so much of the cartoon that I watched when I was a kid. And he looks awesome that I had to get him. These are the other ones in the series don't feel the same way necessarily about those and that's so weird for me to do but this was such a great looking action figure that i had to pick him up from walmart in canada this kept fluctuating in price on amazon and i was given an amazon gift card this year for christmas so i could buy this he didn't go down to the price i saw that once this had gone down to seven dollars that kicking myself for not paying attention to it then. I love Bratz boys. Don't like the Bratz girls. I find them very inappropriate. <laughs> but the Bratz boys are really, really cool. I love that he comes with another outfit because I've got these older Bratz boys who have really bad outfits and these are really fashionable. He's got a very similar haircut to me. Very stylish, very cool. Uh, excited to open up him. Oh yeah, so I didn't get the best price. I think I paid just over $20. But I did have a gift card, and $20 is a great price for that. Treasure Hunt had these, which is so awesome. Every once in a while, we can get these. These are so expensive to get in Canada. I think this is 70 I think they're both $70 originally. It says this one's 50 but I think that's only because they couldn't find it in on the website. Because I think this is the first thing to be released and I didn't have this. I think I have everything now except for Soundwave's um, accessory packs and I checked these and they're working. I never had Transformers when I was a kid and these are really fun to play with. I am was always intimidated by transforming them but I've taken these out of their boxes. I had a sneak peek and they're actually in like 
instinctively I transform them without any problem, without even looking at any instructions. So I'm happy about that. And Soundwave is the one that I wanted the most. I hope that the extra cassette packs show up in Canada. We, I have seen this one at Walmart. It doesn't stay on, shelf, on the shelves long, but at $70, $80, I can't pay that, but we got those for 70% off. Sweet. This pack is awesome. I love this new series of Fisher Price toys that they have in these little, I guess they're made out of wood and there's credit cards and there's a cell phone and there's all kinds of these fun felt packs, camping sets, you make s'mores. This one was so cute. That little business kid is adorable. I hope that these things fit on me. They're just really fun play. The box is really nice too. So really cool sets, and this I got from Amazon on cheap, cheap sale. You can also get these at Toys R Us in Canada. I don't think I've seen these new sets at Walmart yet. This was from the Toy Warehouse Closeout. Um, it's gone away 35% off, $15, so I got a good deal on this. I thought this would be great to have outside my... Oh my God, is this going to be dangerous? Outside my new homes that I'm building. So why not have some Jeeps hanging out, even though I would prefer it was a black or red Jeep. I don't want to buy a blue car in real life. I like that ATV. Really fun. I hope the characters are bigger than I think they are. They'll also be great to put in my houses that I've been building. And I mean, it's tough and rugged and cute too, because it's official Jeep merchandise. That's cool. From Treasure Hunt. I got this for 70% off. It's this Rick and Morty set, and you actually get Rick and Morty in this set. So uh, that's awesome. And I also found a Bendy set, which is really cool. And that's black and sepia kind of toned bricks. So these are made by, oh, Fat something. What do they call this? McFarlane. They're so close to the McFarlane ones, but I love Bendy stuff. It's creepy and old school cartoon, Fat Mojo, that's right, that's the name of the company. So, really fun, awesome toys that I got, and wait, there's more stuff on the floor here that I didn't show you. I got this, Masters of the Universe slime pit, but it's not officially Masters of the Universe. They made it into a Batman slime pit, but it is just like the slime pit I had in the 80s as a kid. It's really cool. Uh, I've been waiting for this to go on sale. I think it went down to half price on Amazon at one point, and I scooped it up. I had it waiting in my cart. These I finally got. I wanted these for a long time now. I've seen these fluctuate on Amazon. I've been watching them. You can get four in total. There are two available at Walmart that are really easy to get. Uh, and they went down in price and I let it go by and I didn't get them and they're just Great creatures. I have the full set of the minier ones and I don't have any of the big furrier ones But these ones I wanted to get just because I don't know they're so cool and I opened them But I am continuing to watch the other two that are on Amazon They make noises and they're grumpy and I guess this box explodes when it opens I will get the other two. I will keep watching and wait until they drop into the single digits and I will buy them. These ones were from Treasure Hunt and I got them 70% off. So um, I could have, they probably were cheaper at Walmart at one price, but now I believe Walmart has sold out of them. That's the end. Oh, no, there's one other thing. There's this from Treasure Hunt which they have these priced wrong, usually these are $10, and 70% off, $8 is way better, a cute little panda outfit that Luke can put on, or magic, and cute little panda shorts, cute anyway, cute little slippers, can't go wrong with a little My Life as Fashion. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, let me know which thing you want me to review soonest. Is that a word? Love you guys. Okay, that's it guys that's really really it oh there's one other thing and I think I'm gonna review this
soon, sooner than later. And that is, I got the last, the six set creatable world set. So, yeah, I'm really excited about this shark t-shirt, wherever it is, that's in here. And there's so many new creatable world stuff that's available at Target now. There's uh, wig packs, and then I think that they've reboxed these, where you can see inside the box, and the same ones, the deluxe ones, but then they have sets that aren't deluxe, and there seems to be a few new pieces, but there's also mixed in with the older pieces from these deluxe sets. That's crazy, and this is also coming up. I'm going to re-review these three career ones with the new boxing career one, but I've already hauled this in my New York State haul, my last trip to New York, so you're going to want to see that too.